I'm Annie, here for Backpackers Beyond the Set. I'm almost to Whistler, where people usually come to ski and snowboard, but I'm here to check out what's awesome in the off-season. I hear their little village is very bumping this time of year. So I'm about to grab a bite at the Southside Diner, which you might blow by in your car on the way to the main touristy Whistler Village, but all the locals know this is where to get your stick to the ribs, delicious food. There's also a hostel up top, so you know, if you're passing through town, it's a great place to stay. So I ordered the Belch sandwich, which includes bacon, egg, lettuce, tomato, cheese, ham, and also describes what I'll be doing after I consume this huge plate of delicious food. Come for the travel tips. Stay for me burping the alphabet. I need to shower my face. So I'm here with Dean at Bounce in Whistler. He just so showed us some crazy moves. Can you tell us a little bit about this place? Um, this place is Bounce. A lot of people like to trampoline and work towards what they're going to be doing in the summer and in the winter. When I say in the summer, up on the glacier or when we still have snow at the top. Uh, I guess we're going to have you tell me like basic things so I can do a butt bounce type of thing, if that's OK, because you're also a coach. We yeah. like to call it a seat drop, but yeah. Oh, seat a seat drop, OK. But bounce will work. All right. OK, so we're feet nice and wide. Yeah. And we're going to put your feet together and land on your butt. Oh, OK. Oh, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm flailing a lot. <laughs> How do you get out of this? Ah. I think I peed a little. So I'm here in Whistler. Um, I'm with the Sheepdogs with Ryan and Ewan. Um, they are performing tonight at GoFest. We're just going to talk to you guys a little bit about traveling. Have you been to Whistler before? Yep. I think we played here at least a couple times. Yeah, I like coming up these mountain towns because it's like a nice little break from city life and lowland prairie living, which we do. Right. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Do you find like being at the higher altitude? I've heard sometimes it's like weird for singing. Do you find that? No. Oh, okay. I think anyone who says that's an idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what's your favorite spot in Whistler? I can point out right now that, you know, yeah. just being right here, like, look at I this. Mean, like, this might be our favorite spot. That, I... That's my favorite spot. Take my guitar up there, like, strum a few chords <laughs> at the summit. Does actual traveling ever give you inspiration for songs and stuff like that? But unfortunately, the, the, the you know, rambling man on the road is kind of a worn out, uh, you know, lyrical path. So yeah, I nice. try not to have too much of that stuff going on. Yeah, like you said, like the rambling man kind of, you know, thing is a little bit, a little bit played Don't out. Don't leave him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was born to ramble. That's awesome. Thank you so much no for problem. talking to us. Really appreciate it. And uh, we're excited to see the show later. Yeah, awesome. Right on. Have fun. Cool. If you're in Whistler during the warmer months, there's no snow. So you still want that adrenaline rush. Well, you can rent a mountain bike and you can jam down the same trails. They got jumps and everything, which is an awesome way to spend your time in Whistler, even if you're not skiing or snowboarding. I'm here at Canadian Wilderness Adventures about to do an ATV tour, which is very scary to me, but I trust my guide, Carl, to help me do it safely. So what do I have to do? First thing you're gonna do is get down on your ATV, sit nice and comfortable. Handlebars work just like they do on a bicycle. There's three steps to turning these things on. So first one, turn your key on, grab your right hand brake here. Third step is push this little button here. It looks like a lightning bolt. The brakes, right here, you got two brakes, and your gas, your throttle. Any questions from there? Uh... Oh. 
Whoops. What have I done? because you're just right in the middle of it where cars can't go necessarily. So uh, it's pretty incredible. I sort of feel like I see how you can get the bug of wanting to do this because you're going really fast. <laughs> So I'm at the top of Sluice Way. I took an ATV to get here, which is really the only way to get up to this beautiful vantage point. I was not prepared. Like I thought ATVing, oh, this is fun, you know, trees, but I didn't realize what I was gonna be able to see once I got up here. That was awesome. And if you're in Whistler, you have to check out Canadian Wilderness Adventures for your ATV tour. I'm ready to go again. All right. Good evening, fine folk of Whistler. All the way from the Flatlands of Saskatchewan, we are the Sheepdogs here for your enjoyment this evening. It's wonderful to see you. I'm going to get right down to it. No snow while in Whistler? Trust me, that is no problem. Besides the village being a year-round party, you can catch some serious air on trampolines, get that adrenaline rush whipping around on a mountain bike, or boot it up the mountain on an ATV. Just don't forget to take in the incredible view.